A lot of times customers come in here with these ideas and dreams of what they, what they want, but nothing's on paper. So with the experience that we have here in different fields, guys are able to put their heads together and we make dreams come true. After high school, I went and played college football. Um, I didn't make it as far as I wanted to, and uh, ever since high school, my brother had been in the oil and gas industry as a pipe fitter, and he'd always been telling me, you know, hey, you, you should come do this. You know, you, why not? You can make a lot of money. You don't, there's no need for a college education. So unfortunately, when I was about 20, um, you know, me and football really didn't work out anymore. And I had back surgery, and then I was like, okay, well, what am I gonna do now? You know, and so I called my brother up. I was like, hey, I'm ready. And began my journey as a pipe fitter. Worked my way up through the ranks. And um, I guess until about I was, uh, when I was 37, then I was like, you know, I've been on the road for so long. There's gotta be something else. Family's getting older. A lot of times I just pick up the phone and call you. You might be in Utah, you could be in Maine, maybe California. And then all of a sudden you gotta fly across the country in the middle of the night, but you don't know how long you're gonna be there. You know, it's always here and there and here and there. And you've been doing the same thing for so many years and you have that comfortability of being in this nice little bed of no wonders of what's going to happen next because you know exactly where you're going to go every day. You, you know that you'll forever have that job. You'll always have that craft that no one ever, ever can take away from you. So whenever you try to jump on the other side of a fence or maybe a random fence, it's really scary because it's, it's almost like starting over and nobody wants to do that. Nobody wants to start over. I got a call one day. It was a friend of mine and believe it or not, I hadn't seen this guy in a couple of years. I said, well, where were you at? He said, well, I was in El Paso, Texas. He said, I just got fed up with it and I wanted to go home. Okay, well, where are you? He said, well, I'm, I'm back in Brookhaven. He said, I met up with uh, my brother and a, and a guy named Curtis Dean Lofton. They were working out of some garage over there. And I said, well, man, that's pretty cool. So you guys making any money? And I said, how are you able to do it? He said, no, nah, I ain't gonna lie. You know, we took a major pay cut. He said, but you know, when you're hanging out with your friends, a lot of times the money don't matter. So I was like, well, I, I'm, I'm ready. Let's make a change. And it took me an entire year to make that change. I was like, nah, I can't do it. And I studied on it for a, many nights. I was like, you know what, I'm gonna do this. With me working in a lot of major refineries and higher levels, it's, it's helped me gain a lot of knowledge of, you know, business development and sustainability, uh, being able to be very organized. Everything has its little place and then once everybody gets on board and they understand how these things work, then everything basically works for itself. We all hope anyway, right? But from the work that we were doing, from building fire pits to welding on log trailers and farm equipment, we still do that. But we have other work that has come in as well. You know, industrial pipe, some of the other fabrication shops around the local area, they use this as well because some of the talent that we have our guys are a lot more talented and they have a lot more experience. Most people are like, what's a CNC, right? And it's, and it's kind of funny, you know, this is 2025. You know, you, got, you need to have the better equipment and computers will help you out tremendously. And it actually, you know, believe it or not, it may only take 12 guys if you have all this smart equipment. If you learn how to run it, then it can be doing things while the human's doing something else. You know, so you, you maximize your time, your efficiency and quality. And if you put all those things together, that's at a lower price. So it's not, a, it's not as expensive and you get it faster. Our plasma table is one of our key pieces of equipment. I mean, it's able to do so many different things, but it only takes one person to run it while everyone else is working and we can steadily feed parts to the guys to keep doing things. But the design is everything. So as long as you can design, it'll cut all the parts out for you. You can put it together. So really it's a one man show. Another thing is, is feeding the other guys at the shop. That's, that's, that's huge. You know, so when we bring it over here, then we have a lot more employees. So you need a lot more parts cut. It, it'll cut as fast as you tell it to. As long as you can load the table, square it up, send it, it'll cut, it, cut everything out for you. Everything is nice and it's consistent. It's all about the consistency. So if you had that consistency versus the human hand, uh, that's, that cuts so many different corners and speeds the process up so much and everything looks the same. Once upon a time, we went out and we welded on a 18 wheeler on a truck axle. These guys were from out of town. They didn't know anybody. They seen our little ad online. They picked us up and was like, hey, will you come out here and do this? Absolutely. So we, you know, we did indeed 
send you know one of our better welders out there we wanted it was a new client we want to make sure we have a really good impression so with working with one of the largest clients in the nation I mean we're from state to state Indiana Philadelphia California I mean you name it you know and all of that came from <laughs> welding on an 18 wheeler trailer in some dusty field you know it kind of goes to show you that you never know who's looking, who's watching, what 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 could turn into what. You know, it's like it's almost like from going to the garage to where we are now. You know, and whenever we went and welded on that truck, I've always been preaching like, hey guys, it doesn't matter what, who the client is, always do a good job. You never know who's looking. I'm telling you. Steampunk Now has been a company for four years. Uh, one thing we've already started doing is kind of investing in our future. You know, we have high school kids that come here all the time. They they clean up the shop. They learn how to weld after that yeah, because you need tradesmen, you need craftsmen, metal workers, iron workers, pipe fitters, welders. You, we still need, we need that. You know, we don't need that to die. So we like to invest in people. So one nice thing about being here is what we have a little over 50 acres. And with having that, it's makes it pretty easy to expand, which we need to. And we are, we are currently are uh, we're putting the infrastructure out back for a new hunter by hunter building. Uh, possibly another wash, a wash slab and a paint booth. With that, uh, we needed more room to be able to have more equipment. And the next piece of equipment we're gonna have is gonna be the fiber laser from ShopSaver. You know, looking back, uh, it really wasn't that much of a leap of faith. Um, I'm glad that I made the jump to come to Steampunk. Probably one of the better decisions I've ever made. You know, a lot of times in life, you have to make those scary decisions at first that seem scary and turns out to be great. Sometimes there's a lot of growth behind it. We have a lot of good craftsmen here that have been in the industry for a very long time and with a lot of different experience in different areas. And with that, we can do so many different things. Uh, the craftsmanship is really good and a high quality product that we put out. But not only that, but without the accuracy of the, some of the machines that we have, then a lot of this stuff wouldn't be possible. And a lot of that thanks I'd like to give to ShopSaver.